All right, everybody, we are back. And this time it is not for a hobby box break, but rather a PSA reveal. Um, these things take a long time to get back. We submitted this one back in February, I think beginning of February. It is now July 1st, uh, 2019. So we're talking four months since this actually went out. Now, I get mine uh, graded through a, a club that I'm part of. They uh, take them in, uh, pool all the resources together so we can get a discounted price. Um, but PSA has been slow all along because of the fact that they just got so many orders coming in. So anyway, anyway, I've got a, uh, a group of cards here that we submitted back in February, and I am really looking forward to uh, getting into these. Now, in full disclosure, uh, six of these are for my brother, who's uh, in town here, and I know he's excited to get these back as well. I know he's been calling me, asking me, hey, when are these coming back? And I keep giving him the, hey, maybe in a week or two, and, and that's been going on for a month or more. So anyway, but I've got them here, and they were packaged up by the grading group and sent to me that I just received them this afternoon. So these are fresh from PSA. I have no idea what we got on these cards, but I do know that um, uh, I'm not sure even the number of cards that we've got, but I'm going to hopefully get a group of, um, or an actual list. There's a, oh, the list is not even in here. Well, that's not good. Oh, well, I don't have my list, and I'm not going to dig it up right now. We're just kind of excited to get digging into these things. Um, but what I'm going to do is probably, which one's the, the front of these cards is right there. So I'm going to flip them over. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll go from this way over. And there's going to, I've got some, um, or I should have some, uh, vintage type cards in here. My brother is, uh, more into the newer stuff. I know he's got I'm a couple of newer stuff. Yeah, Jack here is also um, into the newer stuff because him and his brother like doing that. But um, <clears throat> I don't know exactly what's in here. I, do, I can tell you there are there are a couple of Jeters. Um, there are, um, I think, an Aaron Judge, um, what do they call it, living set card. Um, this is all going off of what I remember he had sent. So I'm going to try to put this um, camera down so it doesn't j jingle all around here. And... What we'll be able to do is uh, have it where it's just kind of sitting um, in one spot instead of trying to uh, have it bounce all over the place. Sorry about this. But anyway, all right, that's tightened up. Good to go, I think. And we've got our cards. And I am going to go through this here fairly quickly. But See what we got. All right, I'm going to flip this over. It looks like the last one, from what I can see, looks like that Aaron Judge um, living set card that I was mentioning. So, without further ado, card number PSA? one from PSA is Aaron Judge gets a gem in 10. Yay. That's a good start. Is that a first 10? That's one. I think that might be our first 10. That is uh, one of my brother's cards. Really cool. Nice. I'm happy for him. That's a really nice card. It could be like a Beckett. Um, like probably could be a Beckett. Not Black Label, but all three of them tens and maybe one of nine. Well, we wouldn't know that. but I'm um, just guessing. You've got a good centering and whatnot. That's awesome, though. Really cool that we've got a, uh, a ten on that. So, Tops Living, set ten. Um, I've got several of these. I think I even have the Judge. Um, but it's something to think about maybe getting these graded because these are these are nice they they um, have got I think 200 of them out now the Mike Trout one was card number 200 that just came out last week and it is a situation where you only have like a week to buy them and that's all that they print so um, that's what makes them uh, more on the rare side all right so next one I can see on the back here already this is a Derek Jeter tops oh this is the tops 93 so I know he's interested in seeing this. I think it's a gold. It's like a 90. So we're hoping for a good one. This is nine. Oh, no, that's the uh, card number. The, the set number. Oh, he's got a nine. Close. 
Because this card in the 10... It's a gold stamp, right? It's a gold, and this card in the 10 goes for a lot. Um, but a 9 is pretty good. I'm not sure what that's going for right now, but a 9 on the uh, Jeter Gold. I know when I talked with him, he was really looking to try to get a, uh, a 10, but hey, that's pretty good. I would, I'll take that all day long. Yeah, Jeter 9. Um, uh, and especially being a gold version. So this is a parallel... Uh, with the gold foil down the bottom. The regular one, and it says Tops Gold up here. The other ones, are, I think, have a blue bottom to them. So, anyway, those are two good ones. we got a Judge 10, a Jeter 9. And next up, another Jeter. <clears throat> another Derek Jeter. This, I believe, is the Pinnacle. So, this is his Pinnacle uh, 93 rookie card. Mm. Um, this one goes pretty well as far as a 10 is concerned, too. Very hard, I think, to get those because of the black color of the card as well. So, that one came out as a... Jim in 10. Oh, he's going to like that. Well, he that made is some good decisions. So nice job, Uncle Mikey. Um, <laughs> as my boys know him. So, anyway, uh, Jim in 10 on Derek Jeter, 1993 Pinnacle. Oh, that is really cool. He, that's hard to get in a, um, in a he 10. He's so, so young in that picture. Yeah, he does. He does look really young. But good job on that one. Awesome stuff. So far, so good. A nine, a ten, a nine, and a ten. Next up. Next up, looks like we have a Mariano Rivera. As you can tell, we're all Yankee fans here. <laughs> um, this is his rookie card, Bowman, 1992. I think it's that one where he is in a um, uh, dress clothes or something. So that one gets a gem in ten. Oh man. How is he doing all these tens? He's. <laughs> Doing a lot better than we usually do, but of course, most of the stuff I turn in is um, on the vintage side. Yeah, that's probably so, why. So anyway, that very good grades. is pretty sweet. Best you can get. He's going to like that. He's going to like that a is lot. Is there a higher than a gem in 10? Is it just the highest? A gem in 10 is the highest you're getting. I was getting. wondering if they have like completely yeah. perfect. Well, I mean, that BG uh, Beckett does a uh, subgrades. This doesn't do any subgrades, though. But this is a 10. I'm just wondering if they're going to be higher. Like nice that. card. Really cool. Awesome to see. So that's a good one. And uh, pretty good. Pretty good start here. All right. Next one is still... Oh, this is mine. Okay. What this one is is a Top Stadium Club 1992. Um, Gary Carter. What it is, though, it's the um, version. It's a parallel version that was only given out, I think, to... Um, some of the vendors at the show, and the show was here in the Atlanta area, which makes that a rare card because of the, I believe, the stamp that's on this one. So if I can get a high grade here, this is a really nice looking, nice card, but I have no idea what grade this is going to get. So we have, on the Gary Carter, we have a, ooh, seven. near mint seven. Not the greatest, but that's kind of typical for the ones I've been turning in for some reason. But it's called the, um, the National Convention. Um, one so still a good card. It's rare to, if these cards are not easy to find, so I I like it just to have it in a graded format. I was hoping I could do a little bit better than that because I think I pulled I pulled that actually from a pack. Um, which uh, it, I take that back. It was a what they had them. I think they had set them aside and why is this that not zoom in um, and get that. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. The um. There it is. National Sports Collectors Convention, Atlanta, 1992. So they, I guess, packaged these in some cell, uh, cellophane and um, gave them out to the, a lot of the dealers at the time, is from what I understand. So you can see that maybe before the packing of the cellophane, some things may have happened because I got this out of the cellophane that had probably been sitting around for probably 30 years. Um, not, th not quite 30 years, but... Um, for probably as long as that convention was going on. But anyway, this corner you can kind of see there. That's probably one of the reasons. It looks like we have a little yeah, corner issue there. So, you know, near mint seven. I'll take it. Not too shabby. Next up. Next is the same thing. Stadium Club, Tony Pena. Um, same thing with the uh, the Sports Collectors Convention stamp on it. I'm hoping we can do better than a seven. And we get a mint nine. nine. So I'll take that. That's always good. A nine and something like that is cool. Very good. Especially with a um, with um, a parallel like that, because 
cards back in those days, you're not going to find any par typically many parallel type cards of your standard set. I mean, th those cards really wouldn't be worth a lot. Even though it's Pena and Carter, a lot of these cards, they're not without even having the. It looks like they're playing around. Uh, well, I don't know what that is right there. That one, he might have been, might have been during it. Yeah, it had to be because look at the way he's sitting on the ground. Probably batting practice or something. But anyway, kind of cool. We got a uh, a nine on the Pena, so I'm not complaining about that. Would have been nice to get Carter in a nine as well. This one here is also one for my brother. This is the '83 Wade Boggs rookie. Watch him another. Good Watch card. him get another ten. And it wouldn't surprise me one bit for him to pull that off. And he gets a 7. Something not quite right with it's that one, apparently. Though. It is an 83. 7. You know, you want to obviously get a little bit better than a 7 in that card. So that's kind of a bust for him. But, you know, he does have a couple of 10s under his belt. So I'm, I'm not going to feel sorry for him. <laughs> so, anyway, um, 83 on the Wade Boggs rookie. Not too bad. I can't really tell you the reasoning behind it. I could probably sit here for five minutes and figure out some of it, but I'm assuming corners are probably going to be part of the issue. That usually is what the problem is for some of it. Centering um, may be a little bit off left to right, more towards it's leaning more towards the left. And actually, I take that back. It's it's not necessarily left to right as much as it is top to bottom. So you can see the top is a lot more white up there than the bottom. So that's part of it and it even looks potentially like it's leaning a little bit like meaning that it's a little bit crooked like the, the the blue border at the bottom is closer to the left side as it is the right side than it is the right side so anyway that's uh bogs for him so that's he's got one two three he's got one more left i know that oh and this is his last one this was the new york yankees 1961 team card Be cool if he gets a high grade on that one and he gets a a six so excellent 1961, mint 1961 card i don't complain about getting sixes on my 61s especially a yankee card like that that's a nice card mm -hmm. i'm assuming uh the gang in there like you know mantle and and that was uh that was maris's big year it looks like a painting of 61. Doesn't look like a real picture. Um, i could sit there and try to find those people but i don't really see them off the top of my head here but anyway, there's plenty of Yankee heroes in there, and uh, that's a good card. And a 6 is not bad for a 61, I would say. So anyway, those are his 6. I've got 3 more of my own. Um, let's see. Next one for me looks like it is a... Looks like it's a... Oh, this is definitely a um, vintage. Is it a 52? This is... Oh, it might be a 52. That might be exactly what that is. 52, I was I didn't recognize the name, so it's probably a 52. I'm trying to get as high grade as I can with some of these. James Wilson. James Wilson, and I get a 4. Oh. I'll take a 4 on that. That's not bad at all. 52s are hard to get in good grades. I mean, really, really kind of pushing it when you can even get 5s in those things without paying a bunch of money. I'd be excited if you got 6 or 5. 5s <clears throat> are good. I've got a few 6s. I think that's about the highest I've got in just trying to submit these raw is getting sixes on some of these. But I'll take a, a four. Four is nice. I four mean, of them might be the surface. Yeah, there's there's definitely issues with them. I mean, these are these cards are tops first year. So, I mean, 52, for sure, that's going back a ways. But Jim Wilson, 52, um, that's going in the PC. The locals are so different also. Yeah, that is a... Uh, Boston Braves. Very cool. So, anyway, that's another one. We got two more to go. Another one. Looks like a 1952 as well. Uh, Willard Lee Nixon. Come on, roll the dice. Give me a big high number. High number. Four and a half. I didn't know they did halves. <clears throat> they do. They have four and a halves on the, on the um, PSAs. Five and a half, six and a halves. Um, so, they do add, they call it a very good, excellent plus. So it's a 4.5. Um, so I, I'm not going to complain about a 4.5 on that. That's not bad. So if I can get in the 4s and 5s in these ranges for these, it's not bad. I sent them in because it, they just looked clean. Now, obviously, you're going to have issues like the bottom if this thing ever decides it's going to focus. I really, really love it. But um, this is uh, one of the issues down there, as you can see is that corner so you do have a little bit of a bend in that corner that obviously affected it 
um, in, among other things that are in in that. I'm sure the top corners aren't the most perfect, but yeah, they're not. Actually, the top corners aren't too bad. Top right is a little bit dinged, but yeah, you can see it. outside of that, not too bad. And then the last one, last but not least, it looks like another 52. Uh, you can tell I'm into more of the older vintage stuff. And I've got a, um entire order of vintage coming that I'm really excited about. But that'll be another month before that one comes in. Um, so anyway, Willard, I'm sorry, William Beck Nicholson, card number 185, is 1952, is a four. So we got another four. So I submitted them in, hoping I can get fives, and I'm getting fours. So I'm not quite hitting what I think I'm gonna, I think I might get on these. But I don't mind fours. Four is kind of this one of the mid-range spots, middle middle of, of what I'd like when I'm collecting these things. So that's cool. It just adds to another 1952. I probably have, goodness, I don't even know what I got in these. Just started to build them in the last year or two. I probably have about, I don't know, 35 graded ones now. Um, and most of the time, I think it's more fun when I, I mean, I buy some of them graded, but most of the time it's more fun to uh, submit some raw ones that I think are in good shape. So anytime we're out at card shows or shops and stuff and I see raw 52s, I'm just eyeing them over. And if I see something that maybe um, the person at the show or shop did not see, I think maybe it's better than a, you know, just to be sitting out there raw, I will pick it up and try to see if I can get something good at Because one of these days I'm going to hit a seven <laughs> or, or better. On one of these, just kind of feeling them out. But these are all low numbers. I've got to start working on the high numbers. I don't have any high numbers yet, but it is something I'm going to start working on soon. So, anyway, just wanted to uh, share those with you guys. Um, like I said, uh, PSA is is running pretty slow these days, and it's just nice getting any of them back. Trust me. Um, but uh, I've got one more uh, that should be in about a month. And that's got a good number of vintage from a um, from a uh, online auction that I, I participated in a few a uh, month or two back. But like I said, we got probably about a month before I'll see those. So I'm really looking forward to those coming in, all vintage on those, and um, hopefully we can get some high grades and stuff that I just bought raw. But anyway, thanks for checking it out. If you like, give us a like, give us a sub. And we will see you soon. Take care and happy Independence Day coming up.